um, coming at you from the car. Sorry, this is kind of a close angle, but I'm using a 50 millimeter lens and there's not a lot of room in this vehicle. Hey YouTube, how's life? Sorry, this is a close angle. I, I'm using a 50 millimeter lens, so it is what it is. This is the lens cap, by the way. So I have to pee right now, but I'm trying not to think about that. So today I'm going on a little road trip from Pennsylvania to Massachusetts, which is not a little road trip at all. It's a like six hour drive. Last time I did this drive was two weeks ago when I went from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania to visit family. And it took me 12 hours because I got extremely lost. My data was not working on my phone. That's a whole story time video in and of itself. And I'm not gonna get into it right now because as I said before, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, so basically I just wanted to sit down. I'm in a park parking lot right now I'm not driving but yeah basically I'm driving from Pennsylvania to Massachusetts it's probably gonna take me about six hours if I do everything correctly if I don't get lost which I already took a wrong exit so I had to loop back around <sighs> so that's fun but it's fine so I just decided because last time it was such an adventure because I got so lost I was like you know what I'm gonna vlog this one in case something goes down in case I get lost again hopefully my data works my GPS works I have a physical GPS now so hopefully all goes well Hey guys, so probably gonna be popping in fairly regularly because I didn't do an amazing job filming this the first time But essentially what happened was I was just really aiming to film as much coverage as I could on the spot Like as I was going but the thing is because I had no co-pilot and I had no one else in the car with me I didn't even have my dog with me Which I had my dog the first time I did this drive, but then my mom took him back with her so I didn't have my dog with me, I didn't have anyone with me, and because of that I was really stressed and I was just feeling very alone and so basically I didn't do a great job filming and sometimes I would- I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording and then there were times when I was recording when I didn't mean to be recording and things are in and out of focus and the things- I have two cameras but one of them is broken, my T5i is broken because it got wet and I'm debating whether or not it's worth trying to get it repaired or whether I should just save up for a new camera considering I've had my T5i for so long. Like I can't close down the aperture or anything like that because it literally just can't do it it no longer has the ability to do that so that's always everything i film in that shot wide open so i wasn't really using that one for that reason and then the other one my t6 is set in the wrong aspect ratio like 90 percent of the time but i will be fixing it at some point because i just can't live with i i don't know how i did that <laughs> i think i was taking pictures for depop and i literally just put it on the wrong aspect ratio when i was trying to switch it back and so it's like not as wide as it's supposed to be so i took this as an opportunity to play with the layout of the frame. Let me know if any of them look really cool. Some of them I'm not really sure if I actually like it or not so just let me know which ones are cool, which ones are annoying, whatever below. That would be really helpful and um yeah let me get into this now now that this really long disclaimer is done. I think I left off telling you how this road trip came to be and so what happened is my mom and I drove separately from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania because there was just too much stuff in my mom's car and I didn't feel like I was gonna fit and I've also kind of been wanting to learn how to make the drive myself and so I did that and I got extremely lost when I drove by myself because my phone is an iPhone 8 and I think it's being phased out because it, the data just stopped working. Even though I had data, it stopped working and I only had cell signal. Luckily, I had cell signal. Otherwise, I literally, I think I would have had to like turn around and try to go home because I had to make so many phone calls. I called pretty much everyone in my family. I finally made it. It was a mess. It was a nightmare. I didn't vlog any of it because I was literally just so done. I was so tired. I was probably in the car for about 12 hours and I should have been in the car for up to seven hours it should it shouldn't take longer than seven hours and that's if there's traffic but it took me 12 so that's how lost i was i got lost in every single state that i entered so to avoid that on the way home i did get a gps however this gps is a lot slower than my uncle's gps for whatever reason and so if i mess up one thing on the instructions it takes forever to recalculate that caused problems on the way home because i missed an exit i was literally not even 20 miles away from my grandparents house but i missed an exit and it took so long to recalculate that I missed the other exit that I was supposed to take or the other like route that I was supposed to take to get me back on track and that just kept happening over and over again and so I eventually just had to pull over to a rest stop to reevaluate what the heck was going on with my GPS maybe just use my phone and see if that was gonna work and in the moment my data was working so I literally just was like I'm just gonna have to use my phone so I went back to my phone someone just pulled in next to me hang on we have to wait until they go 
Hi, I'm back in my room. So basically, yeah, essentially my task at hand was to get from Pennsylvania, Eastern Pennsylvania, to Western Massachusetts, and my goal was to get there in daylight, like before the sun went down. However, I did slow myself down by trying to film an intro to this video, and it's I did a really poor job because I had to use the restroom the whole time, so um, that's what this is, I guess. So this is my passenger seat. It's a disaster, but that's okay. Organized chaos. So I've got my sweatshirt, I've got my laptop, very not safely tucked over there, and then inside the backpack, which I I have unzipped for my own convenience because I'm not unzipping a backpack while I'm on the road. That's just not a good idea. So inside I have all of my phone chargers and stuff. I have a bag of chips. I have books that I will not be reading. I have a cookie from Panera's that is a few days old, but that's okay. A cookie's a cookie. I mean, it's been packaged this whole time. So got some napkins, got some Mike and Ike. And then here I have my purse, which has all of my smaller, most important things. I have the GPS literally sitting in it. Um, I have my phone, which is dying now that I look at it, but I'll plug that in in a minute. And I really should be getting back on the road, so. Then I got some more snacks, more candy, my wallet, all that fun stuff. Then I've got my speaker set up to play my podcast, my water bottle, my camera. And then I have my, my other shoes. I have a cooler of food that my grandmother packed me. And I'm gonna stop for ice somewhere. There was not ice in this gas station. I thought I saw some, but I think I hallucinated it, to be honest. So, I've got my cooler. I have to refill that with fresh ice when I get to New York. York. My little pride Ikea bag. You have no idea how much I love this bag. And then I have my guitar that I really hope no one steals. So at my next rest stop, I'm gonna lay it down and put a blanket over it, but for now, it's just chilling. Which has my car wax and trash bag in it. And then down here, I have some pretzels, a giant jug of Arizona iced tea, and a towel because I'm having a problem with my AC and the water is leaking back into my vehicle. But it's okay, it's everything's fine. Scenic highway that we're looking at. It's overexposed, but you're really not missing out that much. So once I got back on the road it was pretty smooth sailing from pennsylvania to new jersey i think i did miss one exit two exits because this is when i learned that i should probably switch over to like the far right lane or the far left lane depending on which side the exit's on when i get within two miles because before i had been waiting until i got to about a mile and a half but if you do it closer to two miles you're not going to get stuck behind a truck like i did i don't have the best reaction time on the highway just because i'm not used to it like i don't drive on highways that often i remember distinctly i had to take an exit surprisingly on the left side instead of the right side and i was in the middle lane i realized i had to go left and not right but on my left was a giant 18 wheeler i didn't react in time to think oh i need to slow down so that i don't miss this exit and i and just wait for the truck to go by i essentially just drove right past the exit that i had to take and so at that point i was like i'm just gonna use my phone pulled over i put the address into my phone had it back out and i was able to make it to new jersey and then to get to new jersey i had to go to the bathroom and i wanted to get something to eat Presently, I'm trying to find Albany, New York and see how far off I really am because I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be. Because so I was supposed to be going heading towards Albany and then things just went wrong. So Albany is 120 miles from where I am. Actually, am I getting, am I going towards Albany? Turn left. I don't know how to use this app and it, sh but it shows. I put in the destination for Al Albany because I'm supposed to go in that direction according to my uncle, but things just went wrong. So now I'm trying to figure out how off I am. I'm where I'm supposed to be. So this is towards like Greater Port Anne. And you know, I should just put in the New York Thruway. That would be smart. This is my... I'll go through that little thing. I Turn don't left. really know what I'm on right now. I'm on I-91, which is not even at all in my direction. So now I need to figure out how to get on to... I wish my uncle wrote the states. I guess 287 North. I think I was on 287 North. This I hope I am. Maybe I went south again. Let's see. So like, okay, basically what happened the first time I made this trip when I was going the opposite direction, I was going from MA to PA. You know when people say like, oh, I wanted to do this, but my plan went south. Yeah, um, I wanted to go to Pennsylvania, but I quite literally went south. <laughs> and I went to Long Branch, New Jersey, which is not Pennsylvania. It is the, the beach. So yeah, I, I went south when I was supposed to not go south. I was supposed to go east. Yeah, now I need to figure out how I'm going to get back on the highway and then hopefully I'll be on 287 north. And if I'm on something else, Else, then uh, it's a good time to panic but hopefully I can figure it out and then I should go through the New York Thruway so as of now I haven't missed the New York Thruway yet I'm still in New Jersey which I figured out first I figured it out based on the amount of license plates surrounding me that say New Jersey and then I walked out of Walgreens and it said the sign welcome to Boonton New Jersey or something like that I'm not sure how to pronounce it but that's where I am right now so now I have to figure out how to get out of it back on the highway we go let's go plug my phone back in because it is 
both overheating and dying. So yeah, I will update you hopefully when I find New York. So far, not too bad. I and I pulled over and at the time, I wasn't sure where I was. I didn't realize I was still in New Jersey. I thought I'd hit New York. I really was not far from New York. I think I was within 50 miles, but I was actually in Boonton, New Jersey, I think. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. That's how it's spelled. I didn't really film much inside because I don't know why, but it was just giving me very creepy vibes because it was a big store, like kind of in the middle of nowhere. And I think it was just the lighting and the fact that I was very aware that I was completely alone at the time. And so I didn't really vlog. I just went in and came out. I kind of just gave like abandoned warehouse energy, even though it was the middle of the day. Like that's the energy I was getting from this Wegmans. I don't know if you can hear me, but I feel kind of silly. So I should walk around this whole building. By the drive through Car is all the way over here. I think I did get on the New York Thruway, but however, I missed back in New Jersey the correct time to get on the New York Thruway the way that my mother would and the way that my uncle would. So I think I actually passed all the rest stops that were familiar to me. Instead of going like all the way towards Albany, I think I cut a different way that was closer to like New York City because I think my GPS took the fastest route, which happened to be through Connecticut, even though I didn't want to take that route. I wanted to just stay in New York and then pass over from New York to Massachusetts. Massachusetts. So that was confusing. I passed over into Connecticut and Connecticut, I forgot what the highway was called, but it was so pretty. There were trees through the middle of the highway and then it was just like there were woods and deer and it was super beautiful. I did have some chicken in here, or not some chicken, I'm sorry. I had some boneless spare ribs, but I forgot to get ice. I literally should have got it while I was at Wegmans. They had ice and I forgot to stop and get it because I was too consumed with my concern as to where the heck I was that I forgot to get a bag of ice. And so I think the milk in my cooler is fine because that was under the ice, but my boneless spare ribs were on top of the ice and they're starting to smell a little funky. So those are not good, so I'm gonna have to toss those when I get home. Okay. Not am using my takeout as a tripod. Yeah, I know this is so boring, but I just literally, I didn't need a giant burger. I just need something to eat, so. Hey, apologies if I'm a little too close to the camera. Let's check ways and see how far I have left to go. I am running out of phone storage, so that's not good. It's probably because I have a habit of saving TikToks, even though I literally should just favorite them. I almost never go back and actually watch the ones I saved, so I don't know why I do that. Turn right. Okay, so according to Waze, I am not going to get back to my destination. I'm not going to get home until like 8.30, so a little bit after the sun sets. And I have about two hours left and 118 miles to go. So that sounds thrilling, <laughs> but it's fine. We're going to be fine. It's pretty much all just like straight, um, like just staying on one highway for like a long time. And then I get back on another interstate, and then I'm pretty much there. That's like... I'm trying to not dox myself. <laughs> when I say two hours left, oh my, two hours is still not ideal. I kind of just want to be home, but it's fine. It's my own fault because I don't think fast enough. This trip and the last trip, the first times ever, me like properly driving by myself out of state. So I'm bound to make mistakes. It's just, it is what it is. This looks so good. A little bit greasy, but it's five guys. What do you expect? It's cool. Honestly, I don't care. Like as long as it's not dripping with grease, I literally don't care if a burger is a little greasy. I don't know what it is about Five Guys Burgers, but they just, they're just so comforting to me. I think because it's the closest to having a burger that my mom cooked for me because they cook, they cook their burgers like pretty well done and they're like thinner patties, which is how my mom makes hamburgers. The only difference is this is on an actual bun. My mom tends to just slap a hamburger on whatever kind of bread we have on the counter, which is sometimes it works out. Then other times she'll hand me a hamburger that's cut in half and like shoved on a hot dog roll. And I'm like, mom, what the heck is this? But you know, hey, whatever works, man. Bread is bread at the end of the day. Speaking of my mom she just texted me back they actually what was interesting was or not interesting it was actually kind of unfortunate because i would have liked one but it's okay is usually five guys have milkshakes and i really there's they make me so sick because i'm lactose intolerant but i love five guys milkshakes hold on i have a piece of bread stuck in my teeth unfortunately this five guys didn't have milkshakes at least they didn't have it on the menu so i didn't ask about it because I didn't, I didn't want to hold the line or anything and honestly i have drinks in here i have so many i have a giant jug of iced tea i have iced tea in a canteen i have a bottle of water i have half a can of red bull i have a fruit punch somewhere in, it's somewhere in here i know i have it i just don't know where I literally have so many drinks in here i don't need a milkshake but five guys milkshakes are so good they make me so sick but they're so good i'm just gonna drink some iced tea i wonder if it's so cold it's this giant canteen oh i 
there's still ice in this. Well, ice in this at like 1 p.m. Still like a ton of ice in this. That's incredible. Go get yourself one of these guys from CVS for $20. This was like, I didn't expect much because it was just like, you know, an average insulated water bottle. I was like, oh, it'll probably be warm for a couple hours, but there's still like whole ice cubes in here. This is, you need this. So I was gonna get a hydro flask on sale at Dick's Sporting Goods, but I just didn't want to pay for the name brand. Okay, I will say I'm, I'm inept. Hold on. I didn't want to pay for like the name to get a hydro flask, and honestly, I just don't understand the hype. And like hydro flask is kind of a dumb name. It's just water bottle. It's literally, it's just a fancy name for a water bottle, like quite literally. So I saw this thing and it was huge and it was only $20. A hydro flask this size would be like, I don't know, $60. So I decided to get it. Plus, low key, low key looks like the buy pride flask. And I'm I'm by if that did, if you didn't know I kind of loved it. I'm going to finish this sending the snapchat and then I think I'm gonna be on my way Here is me and my ginormous water bottle filled with iced tea. It literally thinks I'm moving I'm literally just sitting here. Okay, so me and my giant water bottle and my fused GPS. We're heading out Look, I was just sitting in the car. Hello, baby Cute dog, right? That was a good burger, too Definitely a good burger. I think I ate half of it in the parking lot and then I inhaled the rest on the drive home. And then from there, I made it to Massachusetts. It was so pretty, the sunset was so pretty, but I just didn't feel comfortable filming anything because one, we were getting a little bit too close to comfort to my hometown. And two, the road was kind of crazy. Like lanes were starting to go all over the place and I was getting very confused. If you're from Massachusetts, I think you know what we're, we're about some talking about. It was just, I just didn't want to get hit or cause an accident or anything like that the skies were like cotton candy see pennsylvania is very open with rolling hills you can see the sky from wherever you are whereas the new england area like connecticut massachusetts it's very foresty and heavily wooded areas and so it was more of that kind of foresty nature atmosphere and it did kind of make me miss how open pennsylvania was and what was weird is the closer i got home the more sad i started to feel you know because i guess i'd kind of gotten used to since i was in pennsylvania for about two weeks i kind of got used to how open and spread out everything is in pennsylvania and the beautiful rolling hills and how life is just you know it's carefree when you're living with your grandparents i guess it just made me realize that i'm growing up and becoming adult and these are now my responsibility and i have to care of myself and i'm gonna be moving out to college soon where i'm gonna be completely alone especially after such a big long break from seeing my cousins i haven't seen them since 2019 kind of just hit me that things are different now and how things were when we were kids that's how they were then and there's no really going back to that it what i was trying to say here before i was rudely interrupted by my own ineptness is that family grows up too my cousins and i will only ever be your age once meaning once you grow up and start to find your own place in this big world there's really no going back to when the whole world was just the backyard we're all busy now with our own responsibilities and schedules that don't always intertwine the way they used to, or the way we want them to. And when we're gone for a long time, it doesn't always feel like you're talking to the same person. I have to remind myself that no matter how close we were or are, my cousins are not constructed of only experiences with me, but rather I'm a small piece of their universe. When you live a few hundred miles apart, and when a global pandemic keeps you at home, you really feel that distance and sometimes even when you're three feet away. Driving those hundreds of miles made me truly realize just how far my family is from me, or just how far I am from them. As I pulled into my driveway, I realized that the sound of my grandmother's voice, my grandfather's television blasting through the full boards, the smell of my aunt's lasagna, and the laughter from my uncles and cousins far, far away. I suddenly felt like those two weeks weren't enough that waiting a month to see them again would feel like an eternity. Once I slept in my bed for a few nights, I readjusted to being at home. I went back to my daily life and I decided that I needed my own space too. And really, the people I love were just a road trip away. I know this is probably a longer video and it's a little discombobulated with all the different points in which I was filming, but hopefully mostly made sense. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that's the thing. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.